Welcome back guys, it's Kids Going Playground here and today we're back for another video on Scratch and today we're making a game called Hero War but this is just the demo, we'll post parts for uh, this game later. As you can see it's a pretty complicated game so it, it's probably the most complicated game I've ever made. So let's just show you the demo. So in the beginning there's some music if you can hear that and there's three heroes that you can choose from and you can see they're live so it defaults to the Elf Warrior but the Elf Warrior and then the Grandmaster Mage, and then the Fairy Queen. So you can choose either three heroes. And then I'll choose the Elf Warrior to show you. So all of them have three power-ups, and then the zombies will be chasing you. So there's the Armored Zombie, the Speedy Zombie, and the Regular Zombie. And um, you have, probably have to, sh you have to shoot them down with your basic attack. See, I'm shooting down the arrows. And then each character has three, um, three power-ups, as you can see over here. So the Elf Warrior's power-ups are the Spectral Arrow, which will go through all the enemies and do massive damage to everything, just like that. And as you can see, uh, it keeps a counter over there. And you'll get it over time. So the Death Arrow is the second ability. It can has the capability to one-shot any like low-class peon. It cannot one-shot any boss or anything. It'll just do a lot of damage to the bosses. And then we have the Griffin, which is the third ability. So it'll flap its wings, just like that, and drop a bomb, which will kill everything which is a really strong ability, and these will just come over time. There's also three bosses in this game, but well, I'm gonna demonstrate all the hero abilities first, and all the heroes. So the Grandmaster Mage, he shoots um, stars, which do a lot of damage. And this, uh, so his first ability is the teleport. So you see over here, he'll teleport all things back just like that. So I'm gonna try to get another one, so wait, let's wait. Um, and then you teleport them back just like that. And then the second ability gives it the capability to dismantle all armor. And it's really strong against armored enemies. As you can see right there, he dismantled the armor. And it's just really easy to kill right after that. Look, I dismantle all their armor. And it's really strong against um, uh, armored enemies. And the third ability is the Apprentice. He shoots stars at the enemies that do massive damage to armored enemies. So the mage basically is really good against armored enemies. So it's a turret and it just, it'll just shoot a certain amount and certain rounds at the enemies that and it just shoots wherever your mouse is so that's basically the power-ups of the mage and let's demonstrate the fairy queen so she is one of the strongest heroes although her base attack is really weak as you can see like that she's not that strong but she has really strong powers so her first ability has the capability to heal her back to max health so that that is really strong that's one of the strongest abilities. And then we also have the arrow, which is a teleport arrow. Well, I'll demonstrate that so if I get another one. See, if you shoot it, it just it teleports you to wherever that arrow lands. And it does a lot of damage. Wait, I'll, sh I'll try to show you. Uh, it's heal back. So, uh, see, it does a lot of damage against enemies. And then the third ability is a shield. It will come up and it block enemies and teleport them back while you can sh shoot them safely from a far distance, which is why Fairy Queen's a really good hero. But that's basically all the three heroes. And then after that, uh, there's gonna be three bosses in this game. So let's, uh, let's do that. I'm gonna try to get to the bosses. So this might be a time lapse. So let's just go. So as you can see, the first boss, after 250 score, he'll come out and he has 10,000 health. He's the siege monster, and then he does a lot of damage if you get into him, and he summons these baby blue peons that have lots of health, actually. Um, and they'll follow you and do a lot of damage. So I'm going to use the griffin here to try to cl clear some of those peons out, just like that. And then I'll use the death arrows to lower its HP, uh, so then the siege monster can die. Oh.
So as you can see, the second boss comes at 1,250 score, and it's the old one. So he summons poison vines that poison you if you touch them, as you can see. And they'll do damage over time. And he doesn't move, but he does shoot these large projectiles that do 30 damage and try to hit you. So, see, I got poison there. Oh, gosh. Let's try to kill him. Let's try to kill him. I have a griffin real quick. Oh, gosh. I'm poisoned. As you can see, the old one is dead. So, time for the last boss. And then the mysterious man comes up and gives us some heals as you can see our lives are back up he gives us a thousand health so as you can see the last boss the final and last boss after 2000 score the zombie king will come up he's really strong he has 15,000 health and he steals your lives so he does 50 damage to you and heals 500 health every single time and he can also summon peons which makes him the hardest boss by far. As you can see, he just stole my hearts and healed himself. Which is really annoying. So let's just try to beat him. Oh yeah, he's stealing my health right now. This is not funny. The death arrows are really strong though. And you see, if I don't have the item, it'll say wait before using this item. Because I'm clicking 2 right now to activate the death arrow. Oh gosh, I'm about to lose. Oh no, I lost. Wait, I'll, I'll pause it and I'll get there real quick. As you can see, I just beat the old one again and then the mysterious man just healed me again. So, I'm close to... This time I'm gonna beat him, bruh. <laughs> okay, the zombie king's out. Second attempt, let's see. I got Griffin out, he's really strong. I have all my death arrows, I'm spamming him right now. Oh no, he's stealing my health. It's all right, I have. Oh, I'm out of death arrows. Oh no, he's still at 18,000. I'm gonna use all my spectral arrows right now. Okay, all right, we won this time. There's no way, there's no way. His peons aren't strong enough. Griffin, come down, let's go. You stealing my lives aren't gonna do anything, sir. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. This guy's low. Griffin. Oh, this should be my last Griffin. Oh gosh, one more. Oh, and I killed him, just like that. So there's the you win, and that's when you beat the zombie king. And of course, there's also a game over once you lose. And uh, you can't use two third abilities at the same time, or else uh, it, w it won't work, because there's an in-progress function. So... Yeah, so those are the three heroes and the ending. So that's the three heroes, and of course, um, it's probably beatable. It's it's beatable by every single hero because I've beat it before. But uh, Fairy Queen just takes a lot more skill, but it's really good. So that's basically it for this video. It's just the demo. Part one is going to come out soon, as well as the other parts. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, see you guys next time.